finally got my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 after refreshing the UPS tracking page every 15 seconds for the last 3 hours. In this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this brand new camera and then I'm going to bring you along while we go outside and test it for the very first time. Altogether, we're going to decide is this camera better than the DJI Pocket 2? Is it better than the DJI Osmo Pocket? Let's get started by rolling the intro. For those of you who come to the channel, I'm Luke Ben Mahalford, a young photographer and filmmaker on the journey to become better at this art. I've always really liked these DJI Osmo Pockets. I bought the DJI Osmo Pocket years ago and made my first review online about this camera, then bought the DJI Pocket 2 right after it came out on sale, and finally bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So let's get started right here by opening the box right here. And we're gonna be able to open it at the top here. So I got a DJI Creator Combo Kit, so it comes inside of here in a nice little pouch, so we can open this up. Let's open this up. Right here we have our camera. This is very exciting. And then we have a bunch of little accessories. So first of all here, this I think it's gonna be the battery grip. So this is a very cool thing that we're gonna have. We're gonna talk about it later. We have our little mount here for our tripod mount. Talking of a tripod mount, right here we have our tripod legs. So this is pretty useful. We can actually have the legs included and they're much sturdier than the ones they had last time. Now we have right here our little wireless microphone. Uh, really excited about this one. It looks much better than the one we had in the past. And then here we seem to have a charging cable, a dead cat for our microphone, a cable to put around. There are a few other things inside of here. I'm not sure what we have right here. Uh, it's our carrying case. So right here we have our case where we will be able to put everything inside of it. Actually, I just realized there were a few things missing inside of the pouch right here. So I have the little wide angle lens here and also the magnetic mount for the microphone, which are two things that are very interested. Uh, so that's pretty much everything we have inside of here. If we want to put everything inside of the case, we can take out the wide angle lens here. It simply goes inside of here and you can just drop it here. And then we can actually put our camera inside of here and we have our microphone that can go at the top right here and just slides in right here nicely. So all of this looks pretty good and here we have our setup. Before we go outside and we start using this camera, we're actually gonna have to set it up and make sure that we have our memory card and everything else installed. There's some nice little instructions here on the front screen that tells us what to do before we go outside. So I'm simply gonna come here, peel this off uh, put in the memory card so they tell us to put it on the side right here So there's a slot on the side right here where we can put oops. It seems to be on the wrong side and Push it in right here So indeed, it's not easy. I don't have good fingertip fingernails uh, So it was a little bit deep putting it in now We should be able to open it for the very first time. So for here I'm supposed to be able to just flick the screen open and look at this, it's powering up. I haven't even selected the language yet, but I can already say this screen is a huge improvement compared to what we have. It's so much brighter, it's nicer. So let's get started here. Uh, it tells me to go on my phone and download this app. So we're gonna make sure that we have the app right here. Okay, so I have the DJI Mimo app opened and installed right here. So we're gonna go on the device option right here. If we look on the screen, we're gonna see that we have the name right here, which is DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And we're gonna select this one right here. So I'm just gonna go and connect right here. Okay, so now we have a code on the camera right here and on the phone. So we're just gonna come here and click accept as we have the both codes on the same place. I'm gonna go through the terms and conditions, click on agree. We're gonna allow access, click on next. I'm gonna quickly log in into my account. Okay, so we are logged in, we're gonna activate. It's confirming the camera and we are all set right here. So we have a little tutorial on the phone, on the camera right here. So if we go, it says swipe from left to enter playback. We haven't recorded anything yet, so we don't have anything. Swipe right to change the effects. Uh, we're gonna enable the pro mode so we can have access to auto sexing here. Tap to switch to between different modes. Again, very nice screen here, very detailed. There's so much more inside of here. 
uh, these are different modes for our gimbal. Uh, but yeah, let's actually wait until we can go outside to test all of these instead of doing this inside. It's gonna be much more fun when we have some nice landscapes around to test all of this. But very excited to go and test this one out outside. This is my very first vlogging test using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. <laughs> Okay, so there's a slight change of plans inside of this video. I was originally planning to share the first test shots I got with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 inside of this video, but I'm actually gonna split it out in a second video because I got a lot more test shots than I originally expected. If you haven't already, now would be the perfect time to go hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified in the next few days when that second part does come out. But there's actually one feature I want to talk about before ending this video and I'm not sure why but nobody else seems to be talking about it and it's a pretty cool feature. So here I have a USB-C cable plugged inside of my computer and I'm going to power on the DJI Osmo Pocket right here and we're going to plug the other end of the USB-C cable inside of the camera and if everything goes well let's wait a second here to see if it works or not. To, oops it wasn't properly plugged in. Let's re-plug it in properly and now we have an option right here to use the camera as a webcam inside of it. So now the webcam should be activated. If we come on my Mac right here, I have the photo booth app open right here. We should be able to go into cameras here and now use the DJI Osmo Pocket as our camera. As we can see, the video is much better. I think it's 1080p, 30 frames per second right here, but it's super high quality, good video right here. Now, if we go inside of another app, it's actually gonna work inside of our normal uh, apps to do some calls. So we could actually use something like Google Meet right here. So we could open it up here. Uh, we're gonna create a new meeting, just create a new meeting right here. And if we come inside of our camera settings, this is actually showing up as the DJI Osmo Pockets. If we go check our settings right here, we can go inside of settings and we're gonna see that the video is actually coming uh, from the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is really cool. Now we can actually also use some features of the DJI Osmo Pocket. So for example, here we can double tap on my face, oops, and it's gonna start tracking my face and it's gonna follow me around. But now I have another small issue and it's that I would prefer to have the camera behind my screen here than on the bottom here, but I think I have an accessory to go fix this one out. So while it's tracking me right here, I'm gonna pull out the mount right here and you can actually see that the tracking is working really well. And I'm simply gonna take the camera right here And now I have the camera on a selfie stick. And if I look at it directly here, I can actually see the person in the background on my screen and the camera in the front here. But it looks like if I'm looking at the person on the screen, it's not like if I'm looking at the screen anymore because I'm looking directly inside of it. But we also get the very good image quality here. So we can get the nice spoke in the background. We get the super sharp image from the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is a really great thing right here for being able to make some video calls and get some much better quality. Also, the joystick still works. You can adjust the shot to get exactly the look you want when you're making these calls. Oh, and just before I forget, just if you're wondering here, we can go back and see what the camera looks out from my Mac right here. So if we go in settings, we go in video here, and we switch between the front-facing camera of my Mac. This is my Mac camera in the front here. If I place it like this, and now we have this, and if I look at the camera, it looks a little bit something like this. But now if we go back again here to the video setting and we select the Osmo Pocket, look at the difference it made. It's amazing how much better the video is coming from the DJI Pocket 3, which is really amazing. Again, I love this feature and really don't know why there's not more people talking about it. It's now time to wrap up this video and straight out of the box, I was super impressed with this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It feels really good in the hand. You can see that they really refined the design over the years and the screen is a huge improvement compared to before. It makes it a lot easier to use and a lot more functional. And also this new sensor really shines. After using it for a few days, I can already say that the video quality is a lot better than the previous cameras, the DJI Osmo Pocket and also the DJI Pocket 2. I'm super excited to share that footage and the second part of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that button below and definitely subscribe for more content about this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I have a lot of it planned for the next few weeks. See you in the next one.